thought I'd just do a quick video on the um, DSO Nano V2. Uh, I bought this mainly because of the Laser Heart project, uh, considering it uses DACs and all sorts of signally stuff. I thought it would be handy to test it all out before I connected it to the expensive bits. Uh, so it's a 1 MHz analog storage oscilloscope. Uh, $90 I believe and yeah as you can see it's just a cool little device so got all your settings and menus up and down the side and all your buttons you can go through all the menus and uh, you've got your probe input USB uh, and a signal generator. On the bottom you've got a I think it's a micro SD card slot and your power switch. Uh, it comes with the probes and the little stand which it's on and also another probe with pins on the end. Uh, I've got it connected up to an Arduino and just running a, a simple PWM program. So I've got it set on 2 volts per division, 500 microseconds. Yeah, so we've got this in processing here with the um, dimmer program. Just basically sends serial data to the Arduino over here. Outputs it on analog pin 11 into the oscilloscope. So, when I move the mouse here, sorry about the camera work, I don't have a tripod. If you move the mouse across here, as it increases the pulse width modulation signal, you can see that the, the response varies. The on time and the off time changes. So of course you can change the time divisions and change the voltage. So it goes up to 10 volts per division and down to 50 millivolts. Uh, you can actually, it's a cool little feature up the top here. You can see that the Arduino's analog signal is actually at 40, uh, 490 hertz, 4.9 kilohertz. So you can change the Y position, just move it up and down. So you can fit all that on the screen. But yeah, that's all I've really figured out what, how to do at the moment. fun to play with anyway. It's my first oscilloscope so I'm still working out all the functions and what everything does but yeah. Well, 